history gives us some, some very good news. This news is a revolutionary, life-changing, literally out of this world. In John 3, we see how, how much God loves the world. We see how much God loves us. You know, Jesus wasn't sent in the world to, to condemn the world, but to bring people back into a relationship with the Father. However, in, in this chapter, Jesus explained to Nicodemus that the world loved darkness instead of truth because their actions are evil. Now, Jesus' death covers all the sin of everyone on the earth, but only those who believe can experience this new life, to be born again. You know, that is why Jesus came. God so loved the world so much that he gave up his only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. God does not want to condemn us. He loves us deeply. However, we are all flawed. And the truth is we are very selfish and we need a savior. We need to, to be born again. And if we believe in Jesus and what he has done, we're saved. If we do not, we remain in the condemnation, not because God is evil, but our sin condemns us. And we have accepted the only, and we have rejected the only rescue that God offers. Through Jesus, we have forgiveness of our sins. We can be born again, but this will never be forced upon anyone. This is a wonderful gift, a pearl of great price. This is a story worth sharing. Looking back over the course of the series, we've been praying for our neighbors. We've been learning to keep our ears open, how to nourish our relationships, how to care deeply for those around us. There will come a point where we will need to share the story, his story. And in Matthew 28, we get this last push. You know, Jesus is giving the disciples the command to make more of what he has made them, disciples. The central command here given to Jesus is to make disciples. Jesus actually commands us to share this story. When Jesus tells his disciples to make disciples of all nations, Jesus, Jesus is describing an all-encompassing form of discipleship. Jesus broke through a variety of barriers and he invites all people to become followers, regardless of gender, religious, social, or econ economic status. He's calling everyone into a relationship with him. You know, the Great Commission looks outward because of the compelling mission to make disciples. The Great Commission looks, you know, inward to the ongoing personal transformation that we have received. And this commission includes the outward, the sharing the story, the message of the gospel and the teachings of Jesus to all nations, including people right here in Calgary. Here at FAC, we want you to build authentic relationships with others. And in the context of those relationships, genuinely share the love and grace of God and all that we say and do. Sharing the love of, of God through relationship in Calgary and around the world. Sharing his story. Now, just as others have reached out and shared their story and their love of Jesus with us, we need to reach out and share the love of Jesus Christ with the people that God has placed upon our path. We need time to, to pray for the people that need to hear the message of, of Jesus and his story. Often the Holy Spirit places names on our hearts, names that we need to pray for. Maybe ask God, you know, who, who do you need to, to pray for? Who can you step out of that comfort, comfort zone and share with those people? As you go about your life, connect with other people, maybe of similar hobbies, invest in those relationships. Uh, share your life story with them. Let us never, never stop telling the good news of Jesus Christ and all that he's done for us. Thank you.